Well, she says her mind is like Google Images, a database of everything she's seen in her lifetime, and it was her unique way of thinking that helped her change the livestock world. Tonight, I'm showing you how Temple Grandin is using her life experience to inspire people around the world, including right here in Kern County. My name is Temple Brandon. I am a professor of animal science at Colorado State University. And She's today, been described as an innovator, an author, an activist, and autistic. Temple Grandin is one of the world's leading experts on humane livestock handling and autism. Now, fear is the main emotion in autism. It's also the main emotion in animals, fear. She's a public speaker and a college professor, but she says she never dreamed of her life turning into what it is today. Well, when I was really young, I just kind of wanted to grow up and become a scientist in kind of a vague way. Growing up, Grandin says she was different from her classmates. Diagnosed with autism as a child, she knew her brain worked differently, but it was that difference that would give her the ability to see things no one else could. I can see a shoot just as a cattle will because that's something my autism lets me do. Her childhood life leading up to the start of her career chronicled in an HBO movie simply titled Temple Grandin. Can you bring everything you've seen to your mind? Sure. Wow. Can't you? The movie released in 2010 showcasing how her mind works and the influence she's had on the livestock world. Miss Grandin, this is a masterpiece. In her life, she's authored numerous books and since the movie regularly gives speeches around the world on autism and livestock. But I basically, you know, built my business up slowly and then the movie happened. That made things a whole lot busier. Brandon shares her knowledge and her story at places like Bakersfield College, hoping to create better understanding for those who come across a person with a learning disability. A lot of kids with learning differences, regardless of label, they're like a phone on one bar. It takes longer to process. It takes longer to respond. And you've got to give that website time to download so they can make a response. Also aiming to inspire students to figure out what they want to do with their lives. What I want to get across for, you know, kid, to kind of, especially to the kids that are different, find something you're good at, make yourself good at it. And I want to help students now, like maybe at this college here, get out and, and, and do a good career. She stresses the importance of students being exposed to different careers. When you get exposed to different careers, you can find out what you like. It's also important to find out what you might hate, too. And beyond exposure, she recommends students take part. Do internships. Every college I've talked to, talked to is doing a lot more internships where students can go out and try on different careers they might be studying for and find out, do I really like this career? All along the way, she addresses questions from parents and grandparents who have children diagnosed with autism, recommending her best insight for young children. Early intervention, 20 hours a week with an effective teacher teaching language, teaching skills. And potential jobs for kids a bit older. One that thing I've been recommending for, for like 11 year old kids is walking dogs for the neighbors because they've got to learn how to do a task on a schedule outside the home. And that's something that costs nothing to set that up and they should get paid a little bit for it. She says it's those same family members who see her years later and tell her how well their loved one is doing now thanks to her advice that keeps her going. Well, that makes me really feel satisfied that I'm doing something that's worthwhile. And she's mm. an extremely interesting woman and yeah. she has tons of awards and honors that obviously we couldn't get to everything, but we have a lot more information about her and her research on our website, turn to 23.com. I love that she came to Bakersfield yeah. and being able to inspire kids. There's such a deep roots here in ag and yes. to be able to see that in the movie and just to connect yeah. that, it's pretty cool. Big, big name right here in Bakersfield. Awesome.